So one thing I would really try to reiterate with parents is, as well as educators and, and communities, is to learn what uh, things such as sex trafficking really look like. Um, you know, we often think about the movie Taken when we think of sex trafficking, and of course that definitely happens and looks that way at times. But here in the United States, in Arkansas, in our own small towns and communities, sex trafficking often looks different than that. It's not someone, you know, being kidnapped and sent overseas um, to be trafficked, though that does happen and it happens often. Here in our own communities, often trafficking is a kid who lives at home. They get up and go to school every day. Uh, they come home, they sleep in their beds every night, and no one knows that they're being trafficked. We've got to understand what that really looks like in our own hometowns. And it often starts with being blackmailed or what we call sextortion. It's sending or somehow obtaining sexting photos and using those to blackmail a child for sexual favors or to gain financial um, gains off of them through sex trafficking or, or some means like that. So sex trafficking can often be as simple as blackmail. You know, a kid goes to a party, someone maybe slips them drugs or gets them drunk, then they set them up and take inappropriate photos of them, then they use those photos and blackmail them to get what they want. And to that point, traffickers are not that dirty old man that we're thinking about. What Genevieve's talking about is parties that are attended by young people and activities attended by young people. What we see is that some of those traffickers are actually high school students. But once they have those photos, those compromised photos, then they begin to blackmail other students for sexual favors and they take control over them and so parents don't know that's going on the, the child doesn't want anybody to know that's going on but these traffickers that we're talking about are often in their teens and their 20s yeah the average age of an online predator is 22 years old and it's getting younger all the time and that's because what we've learned is that kids trust other kids so predators use these kids to go in and, and do their work for them because they know they're going to trust them more than they're going to trust that the predator themselves. And so uh, they've got kids that are having parties or going into a party or going into a youth group and they use them to entice and coerce other kids to get what they want from them.